Aloha. This is Maui Pono Network with our weekly update. Today is March 15th, 2021, and we are here to talk a little bit about what happened last week and give a preview of what's going on this week in Maui County. And uh, just kind of, you know, we're at the end of the legislative session for the county council. So we're seeing a lot less activity than we were seeing at the beginning of the year when the council members were really pushing to get their bills and their referendums through. Now that's winding down and we're heading into everybody's favorite time of year, the budget session. But there's been a lot happening actually in these last two weeks. It's been a little bit quiet and a little under the radar and luckily it's been good things. One of the main things that happened last week is we saw the uh, movement towards our council advisory committees or council advisory boards for those to get approved by all the needed entities. And what that means is that the Maui Planning Commission, which decides what is built, how things are developed, how land is used, they have to listen to these community advisory boards. Uh, I know some of the council members are looking to make these community advisory boards very, you know, have more power and more say so that the Maui Planning Commission can't override them. That's probably going to be down down the road a little bit. Right now, what they're trying to do is establish a Kihei to McKenna community advisory board and a Haiku to Paia community advisory board. And we hope that they'll also get an upcountry advisory board and some of the other areas. Um, there's already West Maui and Hana and, of course, uh, Molokai and Lanai. So that's something that's exciting that's happened. They've, it's gotten on the agenda. It's going on the agenda for the next two weeks for different, uh, the different places that it needs to be discussed. Um, there's been a lot happening at the state. The state is also coming towards the end of their legislative session. So I'd like to turn it over to Paul to talk about the kind of crazy things that happened at the state this last couple of weeks. Thank you, Asia. I'd like to really focus on two bills that were up with legislation. The first one is livable wages. And uh, to, to put this in perspective, first of all, the State Department of Business and Economic Development and Tourism has determined that in uh, a single adult with no children needed to earn an hourly wage of $17.21. This was back in 2018. Uh, so uh, that was just for basic economic self-sufficiency. So they put out SB 676 to increase the minimum wage to $12 an hour, something very modest. Uh, however, uh, this is the way the uh, House and Senate works. Uh, the, uh, it would pass the Senate, but the House Speaker, Scott Saiki, is refusing to even allow a vote on SB 676. And, and on top of that, Labor Chair Onishi has not scheduled a single House bill proposing to increase the minimum wage, refusing to even hold public discussion on the issue. And yet, with this injustice, the hypocrisy of all of this is that they're both getting raises in their salary this year. So uh, this is what happens uh, when we have corporate Democrats in power. And it's important, it certainly emphasizes the importance to get the right representation that serves the people in the Aina. So also on a, let's move to a more uplifting note, uh, marijuana legislation. Uh, the Maui County Council, after listening to the citizens, passed resolution 21-19. And they adopted that on a vote nine to zero. And this is what happens when the county council really listens to the citizens. So they, they uh, cited economic and social benefits that would result with Maui County urging state legislatures to legalize, regulate, and tax cannabis. So it came out as Senate Bill 767 and Representative Nakashimi at first, wouldn't even allow that to be discussed. However, because of public outrage and because of the number of calls that he received, he reconsidered. And what he said is that all due consideration, uh, we will consider it if the health committee decides to pass it. So if you have, uh, would like to make a statement on this before Wednesday, March 17th, five o'clock, 
uh, you can go to Representative Yamane and again, talk about SB 767. And if you're for it, you can voice your opinion or against it either way. But they're still open for discussion. Asia? Thank you so much, Paul. And those are two great issues that we need to watch. They will definitely affect our economy and the quality of life for people here. That's about what we all we have to sum up for this last week. And you can check in at the website or on our Facebook page to find out more. We try to uh, post the pertinent articles on our hot issues from this year and just keep you informed. And if there's something you'd like to hear more about, please let us know. And we'd be happy to cover those in uh, future updates. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week.